One of the best things I did this year was taking the Motorcycle Safety Foundation Basic Rider course. Uh, on this ride, I want to tell you guys a little bit about the MSF course, uh, why a PEV person such as myself would even take the course, and I want to share my experience with you. So sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. It's good to have you on board today. What's going on everyone? This is Ivan and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. If it's your first time joining us, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, it's good to have you back. You know, I wasn't even going to do this video because the thing was I had some memory card issues again and I lost quite a bit of footage from the, uh, the, the actual class. And then when I was at the actual class, the weather wasn't very cooperative. So I was just going to scrap this whole thing altogether. But you know what? Here we are. The reason I wanted to do this video anyway was because I wanted to share my experience with you about the whole motorcycle safety course. And if you've been on the fence about it or you've been thinking about it, I hope that this video will serve as an inspiration for you to, you know, finally take the plunge into it. Uh, this video is not sponsored by the MSF or the schools that I'm going to mention, but I just kind of wanted to, like I said, share that experience with you. Let's start with what is the MSF basic rider course. The basic rider course is comprised of two parts. Uh, these two sections are designed so that it can take a complete novice beginner and make them proficient enough in the basic skills of operating a motorcycle so that you can be safe on the road as a new person. They're able to accomplish this in two parts. Part one is kind of the boring thing. Part one is your classic e-course where it's going to introduce you to all the terminology, all the verbiage, and all the safety concepts that you're going to need to safely operate a motorcycle and something that you're going to apply in part two. And part two is the fun part. Uh, part two is where you go to your local motorcycle school and you get hands-on training with your motorcycle. At that point, they introduce you to the fundamentals of riding and that's where you meet your rider coach. Your rider coach will guide you through a series of drills that will hopefully increase your confidence and also make you a safer, better rider. And after you finish all your exercises with your rider coach, everything kind of culminates into one final exam. And the great thing about taking and passing this final exam is in New York State, you're able to skip the road test for the motorcycle license altogether. All you need to do is take that card that they give you, bring it to the local DMV, pass the written exam, and then boom, right then and there, you'll be able to get your M endorsement on your license. Now, you're probably wondering, Ivan, you're a PEV guy. What the heck does a motorcycle license endorsement have to do with what you do? Well, you know what? That's an excellent question. There are three main reasons why I decided to take the MSF rider course. Uh, the first reason is as a PEV enthusiast and the person that loves the industry, the industry is quite young. Despite that, the crazy thing is the line between high powered PEVs and motorcycles is already starting to blur and the two biggest selling points to owning a high powered PEV is one you don't need a license to operate it and two you don't need to register with your local department of motor vehicles that means that if you have the cash you can either buy one or build one and congratulations you have yourself a high powered monster that can blast through everything so that means that there are folks out there with little to no experience, you know, navigating public roads, let alone have experience riding something 
that can go 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. And that's leading to the riders getting hurt, pedestrians getting hit, and accidents happening with other vehicles on the road. And that scares me because it just takes one accident with the wrong person, one fatality with the wrong person, and you got the local government coming down on you with regulations and worst case, bans. So in my case, I'd rather be overqualified and never have to encounter registering or getting licensed for my PEVs than be one of the folks scrambling later on when regulations and bans start happening for the things that we actually really love. And the second reason that I took the class, like I said earlier, the fine line that separates high-powered PEVs and motorcycles is really blurring. And that means that some of these high-powered PEVs are going to require a license in the future. And the third reason I took this course is as a safety-minded individual, extra training and extra skills is always welcome. Anything that's gonna help me increase my chances of getting home safely to my wife and family, I personally think that's a worthwhile investment. And now that we know what the MSF Basic Rider course is, and we covered why I decided to take it as a PEV owner, I wanna play a few clips for you guys here from the actual course itself. I took this course at a school called On The Road Again. Uh, I found them through the MSF website. Uh, once again, this video is not sponsored by MSF or the On The Road Again school, but if you'd like to book a actual course with the school that I went to here in Queens, or if you'd like to uh, search for one in your city, I'll leave the link to both uh, On The Road Again in the video's description, and I'll leave a link for the Motorcycle Safety Foundation there as well. I'll play the clips now and I hope that you enjoy them because they were kind of like my real raw reactions in between the actual practice sessions. Good morning everyone. Uh, it's 6.50 in the morning and I just wanted to document this because we are doing the weekend uh, motorcycle safety foundation course here and I'm, I'm pretty stoked. I'm, I'm exhausted but they didn't give me the okay to record during the actual training but in between my goal is to kind of uh, document my experience here and hopefully inspire some of y'all to go take the Motorcycle Safety Foundation course because at the end of the day, extra training is always worth it. So, uh, um, I have my helmet, I have my gear, it's supposed to rain today, and I'm pretty excited. So, a uh, quick update for y'all. We just finished the first four exercises of the morning. I am sketchy at best, but they've done such an amazing job explaining things and I'm pretty excited to really get this course done. Um, they're, they're really taking the time to build up our confidence. Uh, we just did some of the exercises to kind of get used to clutch usage, throttle usage, etc. So excited, excited. What's up y'all? Um, we just finished another section where we learned how to uh, shift and do controlled stops and low speed maneuvering. It is also, as you can tell here, all this dripping and all this rain, it is raining. So interesting, 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 interesting experience. That is the end of day one. I really had a good time. Uh, 
as you can tell it's pretty kind of gross out there it's coming down pretty hard we ended the day a little bit early because we're just gonna resume tomorrow since tomorrow is gonna be one of those days where it's just not as bad it's gonna be cold but at least it's not raining but so far uh, absolutely worth it I think already uh, I feel like a better rider already and I have more of an appreciation for uh, the skills necessary to ride these high-powered uh, motorcycles and it is day two now of the uh, basic rider course here at Queens Borough Community College and we are doing a couple more drills feeling a little rusty from yesterday but uh, once again the coaches are doing an amazing job of cueing us and helping us out here so um, trying to take their pointers trying to learn and trying to really enjoy this process because I, I the more I learn from this course the more I realize this is something that we should all take as a community I think it'd be nice for everyone to have this kind of skills training it is the first break so um, I'll update you guys on the next hour taking a 10 minute lunch break um, we just finished uh, double u-turns and s-curves and that went surprisingly well uh, coach Raff and coach Peter just finished uh, helping us do emergency stops and stuff like that and I'm feeling pretty confident about how this is going compared to yesterday which was pretty rough um, I think we're doing okay so we're gonna keep it up we're gonna keep listening to the coaches uh, the pointers that they're giving and we're gonna go from there we just finished up all of the drills and two days 10 hours of training all comes down to this test that's coming up honestly I'm confident in some of the skills but I'm not a hundred percent on it so <laughs> let's see they prepared us as much as possible so that we are good to go but I just gotta you know like one of the guys said believe in yourself and just do what needs to be done right so I will see you guys after there's my partner for the whole thing. The Honda Nighthawk, number seven. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. And right now, we are literally just waiting for the results. I messed up a few times, but I'm just hoping that I pass out. We'll see. We are back in the car and I passed. <laughs> wow. Wow. What an experience, huh? Well, I hope y'all enjoyed my raw reactions from that day. And I just kind of want to summarize everything that I said in those video clips and now that I've had some time to digest the, I guess, the whole experience. So let me start with, I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the MSF riding course with Coach Raff and Coach Pete. They did an amazing job. I remember that first day, I was really worried because out of the 12 people that were there, I believe nine of us had absolutely no experience uh, operating a motorcycle. So I was just like, oh my God, how are we gonna do this? And it was coming down like hell. So we were doing all of the drills in heavy downpour. But thanks to our amazing rider coaches, they were able to kind of walk us through every single exercise, every single drill, and every single 
point that we needed to learn and they slowly instilled confidence in us. And like I said, it is a actual intensive, so not everybody passed. And the one thing that they told us that we, we all really appreciated was if they had to pull you for any reason because they felt that it was no longer safe for you to operate the motorcycle, they would bring you back for some private coaching to help you so that you can eventually pass the final. And one of the guys that we thought was going to pass actually didn't end up passing because he ended up dropping his motorcycle during one of the exercises. And they were really, really cool with him. They were like, you know, we get it. It sucks that you got to come back, but at least you can come back and retake it. And I have a newfound appreciation for those that actually operate motorcycles and the kind of mentality needed to navigate actual traffic with one. And as you saw in the video, I did pass the final exam. All I had to do is actually go to the DMV and then bring the card that they gave me and take the exam. But work has been so insane that I haven't been able to do it. But going forward, thanks to On The Road Again and the MSF course, and then of course, uh, our friend Drew at Super 73 for telling me about the course that I am now officially going to be a uh, M-Class endorsed operator. So that means going forward, I'll be able to ride motorcycles. I don't know if it's gonna be a part of the lifestyle or not, or even a part of the channel, but it's nice to have that option. And it's nice to have that peace of mind that should anything happen in the world of PEVs here in New York, I've already got that taken care of and I can just roll with the punches, just like the way we rolled with the punches with the scooter. And with that final thought, that is the end of my MSF rider course experience. Now, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the program and if there's anything that I missed that you want to ask me about, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Also, if you just want to say hi, feel free to say hi. You know that I respond to all of my comments. If you really enjoy my content and you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing. I have an icon here on the bottom right of the screen that you can click on. Once you click on that, that'll subscribe you to the channel. Just make sure you turn on the bell notification so that I can notify you anytime a video comes out. For now, we are doing e-bike, e-scooter, and e-skate content. But now that we have the M-Class endorsement, we may add e-motos or something in the future. So. We release a video every Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern, so keep an eye out for that. But once again, thank you so much for joining me on this cold, cold, cold ride. I appreciate y'all, and I'll catch you on the next one. Remember, always wear your riding gear, and ride safe out there. Peace out, everyone.